All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. Time to take on what might be the final level, RNG by Multiperson, as expected. So, I'm assuming there will be basically be two episodes at this point. One will be this one where I beat RNG, and then the next one will be RNG cleanup. In this level, your path will be determined by dice rolls. You can press L or R to skip the dice rolling cutscene. Okay. So I'm assuming that it'll open up and become less random uh, after I beat it so that I don't need to, so that I can try all the rooms without uh, having to take forever getting back to them over and over. The level is split into three parts, each of which is two rooms long. Good luck. All right, part number one, let's see how it goes. Hub one out of six. <laughs> That's pretty cool animation. So, uh, looks like... Uh, wait, one out of six? Oh yeah, okay. Each of the two rooms is one. So, Blue Leaf. Um, oh, okay, so going into the pipes allows me to go around the entire planet in like a second. And then we do that. Oh, that didn't really work so well. I needed to be a bit faster. We, the coin's telling me to go to the left, and then we go back to the right. Coin guidance are always accurate, thankfully. Perfect. I think we want to just trigger this guy. Oops. Hey, oh, I've got to hold jump as I come out. Oh, that didn't work out so well. Oh, and then we've got to go back up the pipe. Nice. Same trick as before, except now we have to bounce on the coop before we go up the pipe. These swamps swap places. And then we go. No problem. Okay, so it looks like he'll be stopped by the blue block. I think we want to grab the blue block and then go in the pipe immediately. Yeah, because we need to break the magic with it. There we go. Room 1 by blue leaf done, but at the cost of all my power-ups, so that's unfortunate. 1. So we get Snorant Pyro and Melon Pizza, which probably means this will be a tricky room. <laughs> If I had to guess. Oh, okay, it's... The gimmick is uh, probably the underwater thing again. Oh, it's like uh, <laughs> in Shovel Knight. Cool. And I messed that up. I thought he'd fall a little bit slower, but apparently not. So this is just like in Polar Knight stage. Well, glad to have a gimmick I'm already familiar with after that whatever 21 level was. Well, that was not thought out. Alright, now we'll skip the dice rolling animation. So I can't get used to any of the... too used to any of the rooms. Oh, okay. I actually have to go somewhere. I, I assumed I was just supposed to stay there. It's interesting to have a normal grassland level as part of the super definitely final level. But obviously this is a grass level on steroids, so... Ah, well. I'm supposed to go down there, apparently. And also I just carried that Koopa somewhere else, so... That's weird. Dang it. That room is actually harder than Blue Leaves, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I just realized that I'm not starting the room with any power-up. At least I get a power-up in this one. Okay, we don't want to go as fast as possible, we want to go somewhere in the middle. God. Okay, that room, really not too bad at all. We get the same room as last time, apparently. Which is fine, because this one also gives me a mushroom. That's kind of a jump. 
Let's let this guy get down here and then go. Yeah, to prevent what happened last time. Alright, you can go down the hole, see ya. Oh, you can trigger that too. That's interesting. I think I need to get them all if I want to avoid damage. Well, that was not how to deal with that. Just stand there and do nothing. Doesn't work. My best strategy ever has been foiled. I don't need this. Why am I getting every last one? RNG more like OCD. Okay, we want to hit those blocks, because as we saw before, sprites affect it. Oh, I've only got two blocks. Okay, so we gotta go up and then down a little bit. Nice. That's as many as I needed. Then we just hit the one on the right, because that's the only one that actually matters. Okay, we gotta hit them all for this one, too. Especially that one. Thankfully, these ones are a little bit slower at firing. Okay, I'm hoping there aren't too many more. Oh, okay, we gotta just dodge for a while, but whatever, I'm just going through now. <laughs> so we gotta find the right time to bounce up. And I gotta be a little bit closer to him for that to matter. Maybe the left wall's the best place? Alright, now let's lure him back over here. Perfect. So I'm assuming I'm gonna want that mushroom to hit some ice later. Or I'm just supposed to keep pace with it so that I actually get a one-off mushroom. Not that I care that much. Ah, oh, darn it! I was so close! Okay, yeah, I was supposed to keep pace with it. Well, if I get that room again, I know I can do it properly. Apparently it's just liking to give me this room over and over again. Which is helpful, of course, because I know I can do this room. Alright, we're going to FT's room this time. Oh, my controls are reversed. Well, that's unfortunate, because I lose the useless life. Actually, I think the lives are counted in this level? Not sure. Okay, that worked. Oh, but I was too slow. I've got to get here just a little bit faster. Oh, that sucks. Lazy's room. Let's see if it's as straightforward as Blue Leaf's. Plop. Darn it. That was a waste. How did Knight of Semers get so low? That level was amazing. It had everything. Oh, this is a quote from, uh, like, one of the contests that was done. Somebody commented that. I don't really remember it. Well, I get another shot at this room immediately. There we go. Did it right that time. And didn't lose my mushroom because of it. Alright, let's pay attention to what's actually going on instead of reading that pointlessness at the bottom. I can read that in editing if I want to. Okay, let's just, uh, that doesn't work. Darn it. <laughs> if it gives me blue loose room, that's definitely much better than that one. <laughs> FT. Oh yeah, this, this one. And I already screwed it up, despite already knowing what was coming, in theory. Let's just crush you this time. And miss the jump there. I did significantly worse than I did on my blind run. Which is surprising, because I don't normally do worse. 
Like, I don't have that sort of impatience most of the time. Like, once I've done a level, I start to screw it up. But there, I definitely didn't do a very good job the second time. Darn it, I'm not sure how to deal with those guys. Nice. Second uh, power up there, and I just barely survived that. Just go through there. Get that, and nice, we made it. So that's two of the rooms in the first spot that I know how to do. Whoa, they went flying there. We're going back to Snorra Pyro and Melon Pizza's room. I'm really hoping I can get it done now that I have a power up this time. I'm not sure if the Fire Flower can burn the snow. I'm assuming it can't. Okay, just wanted to make absolute sure. Just get the one on the right, and we're good. Oh, this is gonna suck. I don't even have my rosary this time. Ugh, no. Perfect. Now I've got everything going into this uh, last room here. Debris Sunset. L and R. Okay, it changes the switches, but it also stops me from moving. Do I keep momentum at least? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, the fact that I made it up there makes things a lot easier. The platform can carry me past those blocks. That worked. Darn it. Didn't stay stuck for long enough. Oh, wow. I forgot to cancel my momentum and then I timed that badly. Oh, shoot. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to move in that setting. Oh, crud. Okay, same room as last time. I'd rather not do this room because it's another gimmicky room and I know that I don't tend to do well with gimmicks that I'm not used to. But, it's not like I get a choice, so... Okay, that worked. I don't know if I can do that consistently, but... There we go, much better. I have more than last time, even though I start with less. Ah, oh, man. I should have been farther to the right to begin with, but I didn't really know how much uh, run I'd need. It definitely sucks to lose it on that obstacle, because if it was on a different obstacle, I, I would have only lost a power-up. Okay, we just do that. This is the one room in the first part that I don't know how to beat yet. It's probably the toughest execution-wise, too. Darn it. Maybe that's a mushroom. Let's do that so I make absolute sure I don't break my shell. And that was just a coin. Thank goodness I got a coin. Alright, so we stop here this time. Okay, well, at least I survived because I did that. Oh boy. Oh, let's just do that. Forget that shell. I mean, one up. Forget the shell too, I guess, but... <laughs> okay, managed to beat Grassland on steroids. <laughs> of course, I've got nothing left, but... And we get even more FT as a reward. At least I can grab the one up this time.
Alright, so I'm not sure how much time I wasted, if any, at the start there. I think I wasted the time on that pencil obstacle. Okay, here we go. We probably want to go down here and then hit it. Pretty sure we want to do this. Perfect. Not even sure if I'm supposed to skip that, but... I'm hoping that I... This is the last one. Dang it, I probably wasted too much time. Yeah, okay. That is the last one, so if I had managed to get that, I would have won. So it looks like the route is across the top two and then over here. But it doesn't look like I have another way to retry, unfortunately, so we just gotta kill ourselves. And I'm not missing my rosary either this time. I think I was small without the rosary last time. We're going back to FT's running room, which sucks because I have a lot of stuff. And that would help more with another room. Hopefully that didn't waste any time with my P-Switch. Oh wow, that is tight. Like, I, I don't think I was really all that slow there, but... Rats. And I had already spin jumped too. So... Yeah, I went a little bit faster with the Rexes last time because I almost got caught by the one turning around before. This is one of my sunset. This is probably the one I'm worst at, and I also went the wrong direction because FT's room is messing with me. <laughs> Even when I'm not playing it, it's hard. <laughs> I didn't do too badly in this room last time, so I'm hoping I can get the W here, but... Okay, we can just wait. Dang it, that Uva is not well-timed. Let's just wait one more cycle so that it's an easy jump, and perfect. Oh, you know what? That's probably a better strategy. But I don't know... I think I have to go back to the dolphin area if I want to even want to try to pull it off. At least I still have my rosary, so it gives me at least a second shot if I do this. Whereas anything else I could have done would have just been death. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's what we want to do. Uh, just put the platform down there so that I can just do this and then jump across without it going super fast. Oh, I've got to use the dolphin here. Okay, that is really strange. And then I hope I'm not supposed to have that people in still, because... Ha! I'm no I think that was not how I was supposed to do that, but it totally worked. <laughs> so I'll take it. Also, can I run up these walls? No. It's just slopes, for some reason. Well, that was, e it was even just the first set of rooms. FT, and we've got... More water, more water enemies in a non-water area. Oh wait, this is the level where everything, this is like the level where everything breaks, I think. Yeah. Kind of a strange combination of gimmicks, and I screwed it up, but it doesn't matter because we're right next to the start anyways, so it's not like I lost anything. We're going straight back there anyways. I love how, despite not containing a message, the message block still contains every- Whoa! I also have the baseball bat! I did not even see that. <laughs> now this is an extra strange combination of gimmicks. We're just putting them all together. <laughs> Take that, guy. It doesn't destroy the blocks on its own. Yeah, well, I didn't think that through.
six Corby. Oh no, this is the crumbling bridge and that gimmick too. This this room is gonna be nasty, I can already smell it. Figure out this obstacle. Yeah, let's just let, let the fish spawn. Oh wow, let's put the screen back to where it was, thanks. Now we're combining uh, it with the vanilla fish gimmick, so... Okay, that wasn't very elegant by any means. Okay, th this is starting to get really chaotic. Maybe it's not going to be as great as I thought it was initially. That guy better not come back and hit me in the face. Looks like they just go flying and actually die, so... Okay, this is weird. What's with this thing? Oh, it's supposed to bounce the die around. Well, I'll have to take a look at that next time. Debris, Sunset, and FT. Let's hope I can just... Oh, boy. This is definitely a new gimmick. At least I think it is. Did we see this gimmick anywhere else? Whoops. Not sure what the point of those coins was. Oh, I actually made it and then messed it up anyway. I was just going to damage boost through. Rats. I had lost everything in the last room, so I didn't have my grocery left. Let's see what this room is. It's the final one. Oh, it's the bootstrapped one. Good to know. There's no safety net this time around. If you fall in the mud, you die. Okay. This isn't world peace being nice to us, and also we've got this gimmick too. So yeah. Wow, that was close. And that wasn't what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Goodbye, world. Honestly, it doesn't matter much, because it's pretty much just a warp back to the start of the room anyways given how this level functions. Wow. 10 out of 10 Yoshi uh, using, I don't know. Well, we get another shot anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, we're supposed to do this. And uh, not that. Crud. Why can't I hit that guy? That was strange. Good thing it didn't happen when it ma did when it actually mattered. All right, wait for the fish to go. Actually, I should just scroll the screen there for sure, because those second fish are also a threat. I mean, I should have whacked them with a bat. Well, that was kind of dumb. Well, it was better than. Uh, losing Yoshi, but... No! Well, I can use the Rosary, but it doesn't help me much. I probably should have just gone up towards the left instead of bouncing... trying to bounce on that uh, ceiling there. One thing that's nice, I mean, the bridge was already putting pressure on me to move fast, so the fact that the flames are also putting pressure on me to move fast doesn't really matter that much. So if you're going to combine gimmicks, it might as well be these two. I mean, at least in terms of making it easy for me. Oh shoot, I'm not supposed to do that. Rats. It started moving backwards, uh, and then I didn't have the right momentum. OK, 
Okay. Kept the rosary and my life this time. That's good. Not dying is generally somewhat helpful in video games. Alright, now we gotta stall. Now I gotta ride the flames up. Dang it. Well, whatever. I made it through the room at least. Now let's see the, how what happens to this die. Ah, never mind, it doesn't do anything crazy. Room by Miracle Water. I don't know what's coming at all. What is this gimmick again? Uh, how am I supposed to get that mushroom? Pipe cannon. One, enter the pipe. Two, press A or B. Three, control your ascent with left and right. Oh, okay. Is this is a completely new gimmick, isn't it? Alright, let's not just press B right away this time. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Oh, darn it. It fell onto the flame. That's unfortunate. This room definitely feels doable, at least. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing up there. And then the saw comes after me. I can't do that. Now I have a saw up there, too. That just makes it even harder. Whatever. At least I can still get down, it looks like. Once everything's timed correctly. Cool. Warning. Open sky above. Try collecting a power-up during your ascent to prevent flying into orbit. Well, I think I would have liked the power-up regardless, so... But it's scary... Oh. Oh, I lose the power-up. Phew. Managed to get it. Okay, I'm... Oh, I need to hit the thing out. Rats. No! <laughs> that sound effect. Okay, that worked. Oh, this is weird. No, I was so close to getting back on the Yoshi. But there I saw an opportunity and just went for it, so we'll take that. Three. We're going back here. I'm assuming the coins were supposed to lead me up there so that the fish are timed right. Um, but I just went another cycle there because I felt like the fish, well, because I had already screwed it up. Okay, that worked. Just do that in rhythm. Not sure why I have a key, but okay. Probably to prevent me from grabbing a shell. Okay. So I probably want to kick this one and then just go to the left as fast as possible. Yeah. Phase straight through that left shell. Oh, we gotta keep going until we've bopped the Yoshi towards the fish. Not too hard, actually, and yeah, that's what we need the key for. FT rooms have actually been the nicest so far, I think. <laughs> um, we'll go up there. Darn it. Well, at least I got rid of the chuck, so I can get my power up back. Okay. That's all we wanted to do, get the wizard to do it. We weren't able to fall upwards at all there. 
I'm really hoping I'm near the end of this room at this point. I see a jump. That's always a good sign. The M was pretty large, as they tend to be. Jump one half. Oh hey, I can go up and get a whole pile of one-ups too. <laughs> I'll take them. Oh boy, five out of six, and we actually have a second midpoint instead of a one-up mushroom, which is strange for this hack. <laughs> 